What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Wellview O2 ring. So this is a smaller ring that is built in to help you out with your sleep, but let me go into its pros, its cons, and see if it's something that's right for you. Let's go ahead, get right into it. First off, let's check about its unboxing experience. You have this little sleeve that's on it. It was pretty tight, couldn't get it back on. It does have a little magnetic box, so pretty fancy. Coming off that, you have your user manual, you have your O2 ring that already has a charge on it, which was nice, and you have your mini USB cable. Nothing really else built in, but it's a nice box. That's everything built in. With the actual manual, it tells you which app you need to download. And what we're talking about is the V Health app. We'll get into the app in a second. So of course it does charge via that micro USB and can get up to 16 hours of battery life. So sometimes you can get up to two full days of sleep tracking with this. And it does have built in storage. So it doesn't have to be hooked up to your phone. It can take up to four different 10 hour sessions built into the memory itself. Of course it has an SPO2 sensor and it also has a heart rate monitor built in as well with just a little button right here on top to be able to go through different screens. This is a one size fits all ring so it does expand a lot and it either wants you to put it on the thumb or your index finger but we'll get into that in a second. So really, who is this for? So this isn't really for your athletes or anything like that. If you are having trouble sleeping, this is really meant for you. Also, pregnant women and the elderly and people in high altitude can take advantage of this little ring itself, but it's really not for sleep tracking. I mean, I feel like it has everything built in that it could do sleep tracking, and I'm a little disappointed that it does not, because I do feel like there is a market, especially for those of you who have smart watches that don't use your band at night. I think this would be a great way to be able to track it since of how accurate it is. But talking about that, they talk about it being a replacement for CPAP, not really a replacement, but kind of being able to quantify your sleep without going to those sleep tests. I've seen some testimonials online who use this ring and they record themselves while they're sleeping. So when they do get reminded when their SpO2 level drops or they get any notifications or anything like that, it will check their recording. And a lot of people are like, oh, I was sleeping on my back at that time. Or this is when I started snoring and I'll give you little ideas to help you with your sleep. And again, you don't have to go to those tests for that and spend that extra money. You always have this at home. So really who this band is built for, those of you who need to track your oxygen levels, elderly, those of you who are pregnant, and those of you who aren't sleeping very well, and be able to get actionable data to help you out with your sleep. So to put it on, I usually put it on the thumb with the button facing you and it turns pretty much right on as soon as you put it around your thumb and starts tracking you pretty much immediately. Getting into the app, you're gonna click on your V Health app and I have been seeing a little bit of connection issues with it actually taking a little while to search for it. So that is a little negative with the actual app and the actual ring itself, but it does seem to take a little while, but it comes up shortly. So you have your connected devices, you're gonna hit that O2 ring right there, and it's gonna have all your information, of course, as soon as it loads up. It's uploading one of my previous sleeps, and we're going right in. This has everything built right in. It even has a dashboard that gives you a live view of how your heart rate is doing and how your SpO2 is currently. So this is all really nice, and it also has its battery life built up there as well. You can go into your settings, you can have SpO2 reminders. So when your blood oxygen level reaches below 88%, or you can even change that threshold, it'll remind you in the device and on the dashboard on the app if anybody is connected with you. It also has a reminder with your heart rate levels, you can set thresholds for that as well if you need them for your sleep. And then offline reminders, you can set the device intensity. Uh, I chose medium, strong is pretty strong. Hearing that a little bit. And weak is really weak. Yeah, so uh, it, it really all counts on how hard you sleep and how hard you need a notification about this. 
but I liked medium a little bit more. It wasn't particularly too loud and all that, but I didn't really use it for that, but that's what I liked. Uh, you have your device out light. You could change your screen brightness, which of course can affect battery life. Your screen mode, you can always go with always on if you want a bright screen in your bed. Not really it, but, and then other things. If you want to look at new products and all that, and you can actually discover all the things as well with your app. And this has all your history. So I'm going to go into a couple of my different sleeps. Let's go into Thursday. And this has all where my pulse rate was. I'll actually put my whoop right up here as well. And also has my SPO2 score throughout my night. Gives me an O2 score here at the top. I was at a 9.9 .9 average of SPO2 of 96% and drops under of over 4% only had one so one really low drop that was about it and it gives you an entire score for the day one thing I was a little disappointed in so I am a new father uh, that's why I got a little bit of lower spikes here because I did wake up uh, when I went to sleep on Friday I needed to take off the actual uh, ring itself and it gives you 10 seconds before it ends the actual session so I'm a little disappointed by that I haven't seen anything in the app that can change that but it gives you 10 seconds to put it back on or it ends the session. So my Friday session actually turned into two different sessions because I went back to sleep after I fed my baby. But that's just something that you should know. And not only that, it gives you a little score at the top as well where your scores were for the week, for the month, for the year, and you can go with your O2 levels, you can go with your drops, and you can also go with your lowest SPO2 scores. So you need to be able to check out progress and little things here and there and can be able to work on it. Another thing that is built into your scores themselves is you can actually download this data and send it to a doctor as a CSV file or a PDF file. So if your doctor needs a little extra information, they get it right from this app. So talking about the ring and its UI itself, it has everything built in, it has your timer, and then when you slip it on, it gives it a couple seconds, and then it reads your SpO2 levels, and it goes right to your heart rate as well. When you do slip it on, I think it's about a two minute timer before the actual screen turns off, and if you want to hit the actual button itself, it is a capacitive touch. It isn't a physically touched button and it will go through everything. And right on the front is where you're going to be charging the band as well. And again, in the interior, it is a one size fits all. So that's pretty much everything built in. I also did want to show you guys what it looked like in the dark or again around my thumb. There really isn't a lot of light bleed, but when I put it around my index finger, as you can tell, it illuminates my finger a little bit more. So there is a little bit more illumination in bed as well. So again, I do like to wear it around my thumb instead of my index finger. It kind of shines through your index finger a little bit easier. So it's a little bit more distracting for me to sleep because I can actually see that red light during when I sleep a little bit more around my index decks than my thumb but again that's really more of a personal preference you can wear it on either one and not only that I really didn't feel that encumbered it does look pretty big on the thumb don't get me wrong but I wasn't really that encumbered by the actual thing itself so I really wasn't bothered too much especially if it was all for the greater good all right so what are my recommendations for this ring the Wellview O2 ring is a very great ring to help you get a lot of actionable data for those of you who are having trouble sleeping. So uh, if you are looking for a ring like this, I, I'm pretty sure you found it. Uh, this is exactly what you need from it. Gives you two days of battery life. It's not that cumbersome. And it gives you four total sleeps built in memory before you actually have to connect it to the app itself. But again, it doesn't come with any of the downfalls. I do hear that the rechargeable battery does downgrade over time. You will only be able to get about one day of sleep out of it. And the connectivity to my app specifically with my Note 10 wasn't the best. I did have to restart the app a couple different times, even during this filming to make sure it did connect with it. So that's a little bit annoying as well. And also taking it off and only getting 10 seconds before your entire sleep session is done is also a little bit annoying. But those are the really the only negatives I found with this ring. Overall, a positive experience. And any of you out there that are looking for something to help you out with your sleep, I think this will be a great addition to be able to give you a lot of actionable data to help continue getting better sleep, which will, of course, make you healthier overall. If you are looking to purchase this ring, I am going to be using a link down in the description below. 
Wellview did send me this ring to review, so the link down below will shoot it to you, and a portion of that will help go to me grow my channel. Well, hopefully you guys like this video, please smash that like button if you did, and if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys will be the first ones to know when my new videos come out. I got new videos each and every week going over fitness tech. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.